Hey guys, my name is Magan and welcome to Glitched. Uh, I found this game on uh, Itch.io and it's meant to be a, an RPG um, game where it like kind of breaks the fourth wall kind of stuff. Um, I know it's been it's been funded on uh, Kickstarter, it's been greenlit on Steam and this is basically just the demo for it. Uh, I don't know, I know it's in development at the moment but I don't know how long it's going to be until it's actually released. But if you want to play this for yourself or if you want to follow along with the development and stuff like that um, all the links I'll leave down in the description below. Uh, so like for like Twitter, Facebook, um, where you can get the demo, uh, the link to the Kickstarter so you can learn more about the game, and um, everything like that. Uh, so with that being said, let's jump into it. New game! Let's see what happens. Hello Frogman! Oh jeez, they showed up. Finally. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, a valued customer. My name is Ribble. I am an intern here at Frog Inc. At Frog Inc, we work with a hop in our step. Let's get started right away, since you've wasted enough time already. Oh, I'll need you to sign a quick contract before we begin. Just go ahead and type your name. Don't worry too much about the fine print. This is... Just procedure. Press enter when you are finished. Magan! Bored. Oh, I can't write the full name. Alright, oh, I said Magan then. <laughs> what does this contract say? Am I signing my life away here? Is this what's going to happen? Well, I guess it's dumb. Yeah, that is dumb. <laughs> what a weird name. Yeah. Thanks. Your name's Ribble. Okay, Magan. You are on your way to a dream adventure in our world of Serene. We need to get through some things. First order of business is setting the difficulty. Frog Inc. currently provides two levels of difficulty. Our current options are mild and hot. Go ahead and pick one. Mild is easy to handle. Hot is more challenging. Well, obviously, I've got to go with hot. What fun would it be if it wouldn't be a challenge? Type away. Do, 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 do. And they picked the harder mode. What a try hard. <laughs> Scree, frog. It seems this system is offline. All right, all of the funding was blown on that New Year's Eve party. Well, we're happy to provide a comfortable game mode for you. Let's take a look at some settings. You can configure your controls as well. Press escape when you're finished. Uh, yeah, all this, all of this I could have done from the, uh, the, the main menu. There's no need for this. This is taking forever. It is, hurry up, I wanna play the game. We're almost finished now. Everyone at Frog Inc. wants to thank you for choosing to explore the world of Serene with. You'll get to experience an exciting adventure through one of our pre-assigned heroes. Let's briefly introduce you to yours. Ooh, who am I going to be? This is Conrad. Oh, hey, Conrad. You look like a um, like someone that should be from Greece. <laughs> it looks like you're about to bust out into dance and song. Friendly, outgoing, and loyal. Classic hero material, and a total snooze. Conrad is in trying. Blue look. Conrad is trying to enjoy his final day in betwixt his hometown. Although the journey ahead is exciting, saying goodbye isn't easy for him. You will be making decisions for him that have a real impact on this world, so choose wisely. Checking every nook and cranny, even tiny things might make a big splash. Don't let all the choices bug you. There's really no right or wrong way. You'll soon be paired with Conrad as your adventure begins. I like the music. The music's cool. Now to finish up, one question. If you were in a band, what instrument would you play? Well... I used to be in a band. I used to play guitar and I used to sing. And I can play a little bit of piano as well. You can see in my room I have a, I have an electric panic piano behind the uh, where the camera is at the moment. But, in this case... Ooh, what do I want to pick? I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go with guitar. I know guitar. I played it for a while. I know what I'm doing. They are probably trying to be cool all the time. Oh, fuck you. What? That was a relevant question, trust me. <laughs> well, looks like you're ready to leap into the game. Oh, there's one final note here. Weird, this is not my handwriting. Oh well. This is a demo version and is subject to change. Hopefully for the better. What did that even mean? <laughs> uh, that seems to be the last thing. I feel like I might be forgetting to give you something. Nah. See ya. See ya, Ribble. Is it finally time to start my adventure? Yeah, it looks like it. And House Studios. Justin Hilton. 
I think these are the developers. Nico Haruna. Kuru Karuna. Karuna. Ah, oh, sorry. Zach McDonald. That's an easy name to say. Sorry. <laughs> Enemy in face art by Anthony Luna. Soundtrack. That person. I play guitar, where am I? I thought I was going to be in this, this little band here. Prologue. Hey, you remember the time I fell into that old well? This is me speaking now. Yeah, I remember having to fish you out. You? If I recall correctly, it was George and Lenny who pulled me out. I think Eileen even helped. Oh. Well, who do you re recall ran and got... Well, when you put it that way, I guess you did do something. All set, boys? Your meal's on the house tonight. Think of it as a parting gift for you, Conrad. Well, thanks, Norma. Eileen told me you were headed straight for Gundam. I heard the smog there is terrible, terrible for your health. You better be careful. Yeah, well, if you say so. I, I wouldn't want to worry you. Oh, Gus. Good show tonight. Well, let me know if you need anything. Sure thing. So you haven't put any thought into it then? Really? I told you I didn't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I don't know why you won't come with me. How many times do I have to say no? Come on. Don't you want to see Gundam? I still don't know why you even want to leave Betwixt. I'll never know what else is out there if I stay here. I just don't want to talk about it, alright? Just knock it off. Well, eventually you'll have to... Hey Gus! Quit lounging around. We've got to pack up the equipment in the back. If you want Hugh to pay you for the show, then it's got to be spotless back there. Hugh never pays us, though. But okay, I'm coming, I guess. Hey, Gus, wait. There's something else we need to talk about before I leave. Meet me at Sartre Hill tonight, all right? All right, I'll see you there after I'm finished, I guess. Okay, so we've got a little bit of information. Is guys basically leaving this town but we kind of knew that already it's getting late i should meet gus at sartre hill but maybe i should enjoy my last night a bit more the game has been saved well thank you game um so what are the controls is it oh it's the arrow keys to move about right i shouldn't go home just yet i have to meet gus okay so i'm outside my house who's the door is locked knock knock on the door now nah. oh knock on the door it's late, come back tomorrow. Well, uh, it's Harrison. Maybe I shouldn't be bothering people at this hour. <laughs> like the fact there's a shop that just says meat on it. What the hell are you? What is this? It's a stone relic. You aren't sure what the ancient symbol represents. Okay. Town Square. <laughs> so this is the Town Square. It's a rock with a symbol on it, basically. Oh, yeah. oh no, what should I do? I really want to sleep, but George has the keys. I shouldn't bother him. Oh, Conrad, didn't see you there. I see you're locked out. Do you want me to go get George for you? Gee, Conrad, that sure would be nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, so you're locked out. George, salami, salami, and meat emporium. <laughs> Monday, Friday, 2 to 4 p.m., Saturday, close, Sunday, maybe for an hour. An old wishing well, okay. This is cool. So this is where I just was. Oh, comrade, it's a nice night, isn't it? I guess so. Tomorrow, before you leave, come say goodbye, okay? I'll uh, talk to him. What? Lenny is locked out. Maybe you should go help him out. That idiot. Always forgetting his keys. The things I do. <laughs> where do you run off to? Alright, so Dino's probably going to be closed. Yeah. Uh, let's go back, see what uh, Lenny, see if he's opened the door. Is it going to be closed now? Yeah, closed. Alright, cool, so at least I helped him out a little bit. Uh, looks like the only way I can go is up. 
The only way is up. Oh. I thought I would have had to knock on this random door. Oh, it's you, Conrad. <laughs> uh, Eileen is asleep right now. Do you need something? <laughs> I don't know what voice that was. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, I was just stopping by. <laughs> You're a bit nervous to leave. I understand. Gus hasn't changed his mind about staying, has he? I think he's set on staying here. His time will come one day. It's late. You should be going. I'll make sure to see you off tomorrow. Run along now. That, that's my terrible old man voice. Now we got another dilapidated looking shop here. What is this? A crystal ball sits on the table. Typical fortune teller nonsense, right? Alright, who's this? Oh, surprise! Jin. Oh, comrade. You came in. Sorry. <laughs> this headache dulls my senses. Oh, sorry to bother you. Feel better? I'll see myself out. Oh, is that it? Something is wrong. I just cannot sense it. Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, look at these pictures. No. What? Is this like a shop of yours or is it... Is it like her home? Pretty beaten, beaten down home. Hmm, a lamppost. Interesting. <laughs> that sounds like me. Hmm, interesting. A leg. Hmm, interesting. I feel calm. Pond, rather. Gus isn't home. I should meet him at Sartre Hill. Um, uh, Bebo Farm. Let's go to the farm. Oh, I wanted to go see what that the farm was. Sentence, sense none, mate. I wanted to go see what was at the farm. Ooh, it went a bit ominous there. Is this like a cliff or is this a big lake? Or is this just a really big pond? Hey, comrade. Listen, Gus. Dude, if you're about to give me some sappy speech about why I should come with you, I don't want to hear it. Just let me speak, okay? This isn't about that. Fine. Do you remember how we got here? What? Y you're being weird, man. Knock it off. No, seriously. Tell me anything about your life before Betwixt. A small detail, someone you knew, anything. Well, when I was young, I... I, I figured as much. I know you feel the same way as me. I can't remember anything. I can't remember my past. Maybe I don't have one at all. <laughs> you aren't making any sense. Can't you see? Nobody in Betwixt seems to have a past. Nothing changes. There's no way. But we have to leave Betwixt. I haven't found any answers here. You have to believe me. I wouldn't be telling you if I wasn't sure of this. Gus, will you come with me? There are answers out there. I know it. I thought I was playing as Conrad. Alright. Conrad. Oh, come. Ooh, glitch. Conrad. Gus, are you? Ah. Uh. <laughs> right, now things are just going to go mental. Conrad, what's happening? Conrad. You? Glitch test stop working. Press enter to continue. Yes, sir. What's it gonna do? All right, so I'm just I'm just in a big white space, and I'm playing as Gus. I th yeah, I thought I was gonna be playing as Conrad for the game. Maybe it will switch up between the two. What happened? How did I end up here? Huh. Hello, anyone? Ooh, okay, so this is the break in the fourth orbit. I'm going to talk to him. Oh, I'm the player. What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> uh, never mind, I'm Magan. Oh, alright. Nice to meet you, Magan. I'm Gus. This is all so weird. I'm not sure where I am or even how I got here. Do you think you can help me out, Magan? 
Sure, I'll help. Why not? Thanks, Morgan. We should find a way out of this place. You can lead the way. The game has been safe. Well, I really don't have any clues about where to go. Oh, there's a door. Well, let's go here. A door? I wonder where this leads. Morgan, right? What do you think we should do? Uh, well, let's just go in. All right. I'm trusting you on this. Don't trust me. I don't know anything. More doors. Ugh. Maybe one of these leads out of here. This all seems familiar. It's like I've seen it before, but my memory is fuzzy. You feeling okay? Yeah, I just have this empty feeling and I can't explain it. We shouldn't wait around here though. Let's get started. Which one first? I don't know. I'll let you choose. No, don't let me choose. Uh, let's go with, let's go with green, because the colours of my channel and everything are like green and blue. So, let's go with green. That, that makes sense. A green door. Do we go inside? Yeah, go ahead. Watch your step. Forest. Maybe we should look around. Well, it doesn't look like there's much else we can do. Small pond. Oh, I can take water. Well, I won't take water. You obtain pure water. Because so that flower's going to have something to do with this tree a tree pick the flower and then and then it's gonna go mental isn't it a rock another tree here we go flower time you pour the pure water over the flower the flower seems a little more alive how many compassionate spiritual naive rustic it seems like balance has been restored here i feel at peace Gus regained harmony. Ooh. Alright, so blue next. A blue door. Should we enter? Yeah! Okay, we should be careful. It's a library. Maybe there's a clue somewhere. Why is there blue fire? Okay, what's in this book? A table covered in old books. What about this book? No, she's just going to let me look at the table. What about this book? The book sits on the table. Read it. Read the book! Oh, I thought I might have actually got to read something in there, but apparently not. Insight. Logical, inquisitive, condescending, preoccupied. You never know what you can learn from a book. I feel smart already. Gus regained insight. So we've got to go through all these doors and get stuff. We've got harmony, we've got insight. A mountain. I'm sure we can find a way through. Ah, we can push the rock. Why is there a little thing there? Hmm. Oh, we're we just pushing this all the way up, I guess. That's as far as it will go. And then we move further. Finally, move that boulder out of the way. Bastion. Reliable, adamant, stubborn, short sighted. That was tough, but we made it. I feel resilient. Okay. Just regained Bastion. Hmm. A great door. Time to go in. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get moving. On we go. I was not expecting a room with a random dude in it. Merchant. Hmm. You want to get out of here? I can help you with that. <laughs> For a price, though. Four bits. So what will it be? Well... Uh, I have... Can I give you... I don't have anything. I have no bits. Can you help me? So, yeah. Well, what can you give me? Uh, I... Know a serene prince? Listen. I know of a serene prince. But as money is tied up right now. If you give me three days, I'll make you a very rich man. <laughs> it sounds like the, the scam emails you get. Seems legit. <laughs> you got a deal, pal. Here's my banking info. You obtain the merchant's bank info. Cool. Conquest. Industrial, powerful, greedy, exploitative. We <laughs> convinced him to help us. I feel resourceful. Gus regained conquest. So how are these going to benefit me in the future? I wonder. Hopefully it will explain that. Right. Here we go. Yellow door. It's a maze. Let's try to find our way through. Oh, I think I said the exit. Oh, that was easy. Drift, clever, witty, irresponsible, careless. We made it to the end. I feel lucky. Gus regained drift. 
And he's going to be all my traits and stuff, like mechanics in the game. A red door, should we enter? Here we go. Alright. So dark in here. Let's try and find a way out. Like the torch? Well, yeah. Why would I, why would I not light all these torches? One thing I wish it did, I wish you could just press enter and it would like pick the first option or automatically like select the first one. Rather than me having to press enter then down and enter again. Zeal, brave, devoted, self-righteous, impulsive, the flames. I feel empowered. Just for gain zeal. And now we have a final white door. I wonder what all that means. Man, this seems to be the last door. Who knows what's on the other side? Um, are you nervous? A little bit, but that feeling from before is gone. Here goes nothing. No turning back now. Nope. Okay, that doesn't look good. It looks like Conrad's face is melting. Conrad! Megan, can you still hear me? Help me! I don't know what's happened to him. Please! Conrad! Conrad, please stop. Oh, interesting. This is, uh, the, like, turn-based thing. Uh, goodie. Well, what goodies do I have? None. Uh, interact. Let's do that. Megan, you, you're right. We have to talk him out of this. Comrade, we're trying to help you. Stop it. Is this going to be similar to... What's it called? It reminds me of Undertale. That was it. I couldn't remember the name of it for the life of me there. Uh, so yeah, look, I'm going to continue interacting with him rather than fighting. What happened to him? Comrade, please come to your senses. Because I think there's a morality thing here in this game, so what you say affects basically like the world that you're playing in and um, your characters. Uh, I don't know if it affects the character stats or whatever, um, but yeah, I'd rather interact and not kill anyone, see if I can do it. Conrad, I won't fight you. <laughs> Comrade seems weak. See? Didn't have to punch him once. I imagine like a passive run through would be much harder. Conrad. Where are you? What happened? You can't be. No, no way. This isn't real. This can't be real. Conrad. Ow! Oh. It hurts. Why are you going... Okay. Passed out and kind of glitched all over the place for a second there. Hey, frog! Melton. Oh, this is a different frog. Hey, Megan. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Melton. On behalf of Frog Inc, we are terribly sorry for this inconvenience. Our intention was to provide a fun, pleasant, and stress-free experience here in our world. Unfortunately, something unpredictable happened. Currently, we do not know what has caused this anomaly, but you can be sure it won't happen again. At this time, we will ask that you step away for a little while as we figure things out here. I'll send you back to the main menu now. Sit tight and whatever you do, do not press continue. Do you hear that? Do not press continue. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, obviously we're going to press continue. You told me not to do something, I'm going to do it. And continue. Because I figure it's going to carry the game on, somehow. Here we go. <laughs> Hi again, Melton. <clears throat> go on now. Still here? Yeah, you seem adamant to continue playing. You have been assigned to Gus. A hero, not in our database. We have little to no information on how he even ended up in this world. Even us at Frog Inc. have yet to fully comprehend what's happened. We cannot predict what might occur next and our assistance will be limited. Listen, if you're going to go back in, then we highly encourage you to avoid going into detail about your role with Gus. The realisation that you are a player in control of the events of this world, the truth of it all, may 
be overwhelming to him in this state. That kind of shot can be a very dangerous thing. Also, if you get stuck in a dead end, that might be it for Gus. Seems you've already awoken the essence inside of him. Your choices will change which essence Gus will alliance with. His essence will alter how the world and people see him, but choose carefully. I can be of some assistance in explaining the personality traits of each essence. Is there an essence you wish to know more about? Okay, so it can tell you stuff. Uh, those aligned with zeal are passionate and loyal. They tend to be outgoing and loud. They will stop at nothing to fight for their beliefs, whether they be good or evil. Is there an essence you wish to know about? So I'm guessing there's going to be like a bunch of different ways that you can play this. I don't know if your like essence is going to change throughout the game, depending on what you do. But I think maybe how how you handle the first situation might um, might determine your initial essence. So that'll be interesting to see. Great. Keep in mind that each choice may change your essence. Yeah. So it can change throughout the game. Oh, he's coming too. I should have given you a mud. The mud or mobile user device would have helped you equip clothing and manage your item for a hero. But they all seem to be missing from our office. You can press M key to open up your menu and do things like save and adjust settings or even talk to Gus. If you manage to find a mud, you'll see that icon in the menu as well. Gus is about to wake up. It is time for me to go. The remaining members at Frog Inc. will try to provide you any aid we can. The world, the people, what a mess. Good luck. Thanks, Melton. What happened to Ribble? Ribble started me off, and now I've got this Melton guy. The game has been saved. Alright, let's carry on. Come on, Gus. Get up. Oh, Conrad. My room? Oh. Wait. Conrad? Conrad. Ooh, now, how do I do this? Hey, Conrad. Shall I just be an arse? Well, it's the demo. I'm just going to be an arse. <laughs> Conrad is gone. What? Oh, Megan. You're still here? Thanks for the help back there, I guess. Still trying to wrap my head around it. Conrad? We have to go find him. Come on. Gus, you should be in bed. Mayor Eileen, what are you doing here? Oh, Eileen's the mayor. <laughs> I could do an old woman voice, but it'll be bad. I found you unconscious out on the path and had Mr. Salami gather you in. Gus, I just came back from Sartre Hill. I saw th that thing. Some kind of monster or a rift or maybe the eye of God. Gus, you saw it. What happened up there? Well, I was waiting for Conrad when... Conrad, did you find him too? Find who? You were alone. I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about, Gus. Of course you do. Conrad has lived here for years. I don't know. You must have taken quite the spill. No name Conrad lives here. Whatever that thing was, it attacked him. Come on, Eileen. Come on, Ali. You have to remember Conrad. The poor thing. All this stress must be too much for you. You need to rest up, but either way, the town must act. But what about Conrad? No more from you. I will host a town meeting to plan on its course of action. Meet us there after you've gotten some rest. There, we can discuss what happened. So, Conrad's gone missing. And no one remembers him. She doesn't remember him. Megan, you remember Conrad, right? I know he existed. Whatever that thing was, must have done something to him. Megan, will you help me? I know we just met, and things are confusing, but... I don't know if I have anyone else to turn to. No, I won't help. What? You really want to help me? Oh, all right, all right, all right. Fine. Thank you. I know it's a lot to ask, but if there's even a chance he's out there. Conrad's house. Let's head there after the town meeting and look for clues. Oh. Don't forget your hat. Much better. <laughs> there's such unnecessary music for him picking up his hat, but I love it. Hey. Really, thanks for helping. Without you, I don't know how I'd stay sane. <laughs> Let's go to the town meeting. Why is there sort of some octopus, man? Psst. Lenny, what did I miss? Oh, Gus. Uh, they've just been arguing for a while now. 
We need to remain calm. Everyone will have their voice heard. I'm going to do the voices. Why not? Let's just go for it. Perfect. Let's go again with suggestions. But this time, let's go one at a time. Alden, dear, can you begin for us? The nature of the beast is irrelevant. That thing attacked one of our own. So we must put an end to it. I sense that the being is here to stay. This is the way it will be. We must learn to live in harmony with it. Listen, we all know business it has been a real drag lately. Uh, with that crazy thing, we got the perfect excuse to bring in visitors to Betwixt. People, let's turn this into a toy trap, or we can all get a little richer. You wanna know what I think? It don't matter. If it ain't bother us no more, we don't need to change nothing. <laughs> what? How do I do a voice for this? Really, it's no time to talk conclusions. A strange anomaly has appeared, and our course of action should be taken with caution. I don't know what voice that is, but that's what I'm going with. We must examine and study this before taking any drastic measures. It's Harrison. I feel like he, I should probably do a voice that's a little bit smart for him. He, he looked like he had glasses, which I only just realised. Look, I don't really know one way or the other. But why don't we just let it be? It's not our job to take care of someone like this, is it? I know we have different opinions on the matter, but... Oh, Gus! You're the one who was attacked by that thing? Well, I guess so. Please, help us here. You have heard the arguments. What do you think should be done? Hey, Megan. You hearing this? It all sounds absolutely crazy. None of them even remember Conrad either. I have no idea what should be done. I don't even feel I can, can answer this with what happened to Conrad. Um, hey, what do you think? Um, oh, so each of these is going to be a different essence. Uh, okay, I don't think we should destroy it. Try to coexist. Nah, that's boring. Make it a new tourist site now. Uh, learn all we can about it. I'm all for knowledge. The more we know, the better prepared we can be. I guess you're right. Maybe if we just find out more about it, then we can find some answers about what happens to Conrad. I think Harrison's right. We should try and learn more about this thing before we do anything. Yeah, obviously. See? We must take caution and study this. Uh, that, that feels better. A bit... Well, we can begin to formulate a plan. But first, there's something we must do. As the mayor, it is my duty to inform other town's leaders about this abnormality. Or anomaly, or whatever. I need someone to travel to London and tell their president what has happened. Is there anyone up to the task? I leave in this shot. I've been much. Oh, that went too quickly for me to read it. It is not my destiny. Megan, this is going to sound crazy. But I want to go. Before Conrad disappeared, he told me that he was leaving to search for answers. Everything he said about Betwix. I need to know the truth. There must be something out there that can help explain all this. Maybe we can even find out what happened to Conrad. Leaving Betwixt. Man. Megan. Is this the right thing to do? Yeah, of course. Right. We can do this together. I'll do it. I'll go to Gundam. Gus. After what happened to you, are you sure? I'm sure. Besides, who else would go? You're certain about this? I'm positive. Well, I don't really have that any other choice. Well, it's settled. Gather your things and say your goodbyes. 
but you should leave as soon as possible. When you're ready, I'll meet you in the town square. This town meeting is now adjourned. <laughs> that kind of, that was my voice. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to do her voice that much. Megan, thanks for sticking with me. Nobody in the town seems to remember Conrad at all. So much has changed. We should stop at my house before we leave. There's some things I want to... What? What is happening now? What was that? No, what was that? That's why I... I was asking you the same thing, Gus. Guess it was nothing. But clearly it wasn't nothing now, was it? Let's gather as much information as we can about the journey ahead. Alright, before I leave, let's stop at my house to pick up some things. It's the greenhouse with the northern, uh, in the northern part of the Twix. You can't miss it. Press M to access the menu to save your game. Alright, good. Save. Cool, I can save, I've got my settings, and I can talk. Hey, Magan, leaving betwixt? It's never something I thought I would be doing. It's my hometown, everyone I've ever known is here. Well, everyone except Conrad. Have you ever left your hometown? I mean, if you don't mind me asking, that is. Yeah, I've left. Really? You probably understand how I'm feeling then. I guess I never really thought about the world outside of Twix. Maybe Conrad was right. Oh, sorry. My mind was wandering a bit. Uh, mine was as well, actually. I started thinking about, like, when I went to uni and stuff. Let's get going. Alright, cool. Oh, no, I don't want to get back in here. Or, or did I? Oh, maybe I did. Is this my house? Oh, no, it's just... Old man house. <laughs> oh, gosh. Tell me, what do you need? <laughs> Make sure you talk to Eileen before you leave. Oh, my voice is all over the place. Enter the bathroom, yes. Oh, I thought I'd be able to use the toilet. Can't even take the towel... Toilet roll, nothing. Oh, Gus, are you ready to depart? For Gus, no, you need something. Uh, not yet. I've got to go to my house, and I. Oh, it's Harrison. Oh, greetings, Gus. Well, it seems you've recovered from your wounds. It was just a few scratches. I'm glad to hear you are mostly unharmed. I will feel free to pursue my collection. Remember, all knowledge is everything. <laughs> don't, I don't even know if my voice is consistent. Oh, it appears you have a curious mind. Upstairs, I have a particular book. In the left bookcase, titled The People of Betwixt. Oh, come back to me once you've read through it. Alright. Left bookshelf. <coughs> There's a book on the shelf. Uh, yes, read it. The People of Betwix, a collection by Harrison. Book Octo. <laughs> That's During my time here in Betwix, I have tried to keep careful records of the events and lives of the people here. The small town is just one of many in the world of Serene. But my hope is to try and leave a small mark for a small town that has left a mark on me. Oh. Ooh, glitch page. Uh, Alden, a town advisor and religious leader, married to Eileen, no children. Eileen, town mayor and friends, all married to Alden, no children, the people of Twix. Look to her in times of trouble. George Slimy, owner of George Slimy, Slimy Meat Emporium. Gus, a young man who lives on the north side. Showed up one day and has played in the town band since. Uh, a quiet man who keeps the reference books of Twix, spend most of the reading. Hugh, Jim Fortune Teller, owner of the diner. Lenny, a lonely man who does not often speak. Norma, a young woman who enjoys talking to all of the townspeople. Ah, uh, works the thing, yeah. Richard Slick Rick. Man who seems to scurry his way around betwixt. And Bebo, a particular purple Bebo, seems to always return to betwixt and is an honorary member of the town. Okay, so I've read everything. So come and talk to you again. Are you ready through then? You have noticed that one particular entrance seems fishy. I have careful records. I have no recollection of writing on that page. It appears on the morning of your accident and the appearance of the rift above such a hill. As an ancient Epiphian scholar once said, coincidence is the beginning of observation. 
working to uncover the truth behind what is happening in Betwixt right now. I could use some help collecting data from the townspeople. When it comes to social situations, I'm a bit of a fish out of water. Something strange has happened in Betwixt. I want to figure it out as well. Spectacular! Go to each of the residents and ask them about anything strange or peculiar happening in Betwixt. Perhaps one of them knows something that can give us a lead. Okay. So I can go around, talk to people, find out stuff. Uh, for now, I think I'm just going to... I just want to head to my house and get some stuff and I guess go on a journey. Who I want to talk to you, though. Siri, E, what you need? Uh, nothing, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Your voice is easy to do, but I just... I, I want to see what I need. Hmm. What do I bring with me? I don't think I've ever thought of leaving Twix before. Hey, Megan, give me a few ideas, okay? Feel free to make yourself at home while I pack up. Ah, I'm more relaxed. Oh, you're done. I'm ready to go. Gus equips hometown frying pan. Gus changes his role to defend her. Gus equips jacket. Hmm. Just yesterday, I would have never thought I'd be leaving Betwixt. Now I'm heading out that door to leave. I think about Sartre Hill. Everyone in Betwixt is freaking out. Conrad. So much has changed. Megan. Tell me something. Nobody remembers Conrad, and it just so happens nobody can see you except me. I guess things were going so fast I never even questioned what you were doing here. So tell me, what are you doing here? Why are you helping me? Um, should we begin? Alright, you're probably right, yeah. Well, I'm gonna skirt around the questions. You'll have to explain yourself eventually. Nope! I don't think I don't appreciate your help, because I do. It's all just confusing. Hopefully you understand that. Anyways, let's get going. Oh, Gus, I know you're leaving and all, but I wanted to make sure you were ready. I know it's scary, but you know how to fight, don't you? Uh, I can fend for myself. I'm not going to fight. I'm going to be passive. Oh, um, are you sure you don't need a quick lesson before you go? Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, okay. One last thing. If you are trying to get to Gendon, then there are two ways to go. You can try to go through Covewood. But not many people travel through there. There are rumours about people getting lost in the forest and never returning. There is an easy way which you should probably take. There is a long road that winds around the edge of Culverwood that is much safer for people like us. Be safe. And take that path. Okay? Both paths will lead you to uh, Douglas Village, uh, where you can catch a train right through Gundam. Um, That should be it then. Good luck! Game's been saved. Uh, do I go talk to Eileen? I don't know, yeah. Ali, come on, Eileen. Okay. Oh, Gus, are you ready to depart for Gundam or did you need something? Uh, I'm ready to go. Are you sure? No, I'm ready. Let's just go. Let's do it. You're ready then, Gus. As ready as I can be. Hey, this letter, it has my official seal as a mayor. So, I trust you can get this to Gundam. You'll have to, you'll have quite the adventure doing so. You obtain it on it. The townspeople have put together some funds to help you on your way. We can't send you off without some help. What kind of town would do something like that? You obtain 500 bits. Nice! Come now. The road to Gundam can be dangerous. Make sure you take caution and don't attract too much attention, okay? I'll make sure to keep my head down. Hey, Bebo. It seems this Bebo has taken quite the liking to you, Gus. Maybe you'd like to take Bebo with you. It's always better to go with a friend, after all. How about it, Bebo? I can't, I can't stop doing the voices, then. Bebo, you take care of Gus now, okay? <laughs> I like Bebo, Bebo's cute. It's time for you two to go. Eileen. Thank you. Bye, town. Gus, have a safe journey. This is just the start of your journey, Gus. I sense a winding path for you. I have a hot plate and a cold drink for you when you come back. 
And maybe you have the best to pay for it for once. <laughs> Won't come back too soon. Oh, good luck out there. Are you find what you're looking for, Gus? Hey, make sure you have a few stories to tell when you come back, alright? Well, it's time to go. Megan, are you ready? Well, let's go. Glitched! Okay, so I assume that's probably going to be the end of the demo there. The game has been saved. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it's like um, it's like the old Mario games. Uh, we should go to Switch. Let's get a move on. That is not the end. Well, I've been playing for a little while, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, I might come back to this later. I mean, it's interesting. Um, yeah, all the characters, all, I like all the characters. They all seem quite quirky. Um, I'll have to practice doing the voices. <laughs> um, that's one thing I absolutely need to get better at. Uh, but yeah, this is, it's, it's looking really well made at the moment. I mean, it seems like there's lots to do. The story's, story's fairly interesting. I'm not like completely hooked on it at the moment, but uh, I'm sure like the more I uh, play it, like the further I get, the more it will kind of um, draw me in kind of thing. I think that's the thing. It hasn't, it hasn't completely drawn me in yet. I'm like, something's appeared, your friend's gone missing. But um, it could be, it could be interesting. I don't know. I'll have to stick with it maybe. Yeah. So anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel or uh, clicking the like button if you like the video or giving this video a share. Um, and yeah, if I'm, uh, like I said, I might, I might decide to do another one of these at a later date. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.